Filmmaker Michael Moore is setting his sights on Wall Street with a new film out this fall. The details, they're trying to keep hush-hush, which sort of seems out of character for Mr. Confrontation. There was actually one place on American soil that had free universal health care. Which way to Guantanamo Bay? Permission to enter. I have three 9-11 rescue workers. They just wanted some medical attention. How could Congress pass this Patriot Act without even reading it? Sit down, my son. Uh, we don't read most of the bills. No one read it. Members of Congress, this is Michael Moore. I would like to read to you the USA Patriot Act. Ah, oh, look at one of his previous films. Courtney Hazlett writes the scoop column for MSNBC.com. Yeah. What do you know about this movie so far? This Look is actually... You. You're so I, excited about it. This I think fantastic. It's, I mean, it's obviously going to be really funny. This is what I know about this film. It is definitely yeah. focused on the economy. It comes out October 2nd. And it, he's really gathering steam still for this, for this documentary. It was announced a year ago, and there wasn't a lot of work that was done yet. Now the question has been, is it going to focus on the housing bubble and the subprime market, which would have been the so focus if he really started to hit the ground running last May or June. Right. And then everything sort of changed. So from what I know, it's going to definitely focus a lot on this banking crisis for sure. Yeah, without question. I, I would imagine Bernie Madoff's going to be in there somewhere. I, I don't know how he couldn't be in there at some point. I think one of the things that we have to think about, though, is Michael Moore is very good at fanning the flames. And when the point where this film is coming out, we know the, a lot of this information already. There, there's already a groundswell of furor and uproar and that sort of thing. So I think it's important that people walk away from this film thinking about ideas, not just saying, OK, we're really mad. Yeah, I remember. Now I remember why now, I was mad. You need to move the story forward. What's interesting is that he usually gets support from people who are on the far left and the people who are on the far right hate what he has to say. Now, here's what's interesting. The anger at Wall Street seems to be more class-based than a conservative, liberal kind of thing. Would you agree? Yeah, but I think it still fits so, into his... I mean, if it, it, everybody... I mean, it seems like the far left is not in his... But my point is that this could be an opportunity for him to bring together people of different political persuasions. A persuade. uniter, not and a divider, is exactly. what you're trying to say. Are you say trying to say <laughs> everyone hates Wall Street, so this will be really easy, I'm that the only people don't hate you know, Wall Street live I, in Manhattan? I think Manhattan. actually, yeah. you, you're, t you're both touching on an important point here. Last night I was at a panel discussion about journalism and the economy, and one of the questions that came from the audience was, but where were the journalists when all this was happening before? Why did it get so bad before we knew about it? Forget and the answer David is... David Faber called the subprime thank you. problem Forget it. The answer it is, happened. it was out there. Fortune Magazine was doing great work reporting on a lot of this. This is a bubble that's going to burst. Right. But the problem was, people weren't ready to listen to it. Yeah. Now they definitely are ready to listen to it. October, however, is still several months off. That's why I say it's really important that this film be looked at as a tool to advance ideas yeah. and make sure everybody has the information they need but if it's just a reminder as to why we're mad what good does that do so uh, here it is the movie is not going to be an economics lesson it's going to be more like a vampire movie instead of the main characters feasting on the blood of their victims they feast on the money and they never seem to get enough of it I mean that sounds pretty accurate it might well, sound that, accurate, that but, but sound to, like what a lesson. to what end? No, I mean, I'm I, saying it's not going to be an economics uh, lesson. It's going to just show you the. But that doesn't sound like the a what's the greater good. You get annoyed. You well, hate I Wall Street again. I think one of the great things about the time we're in right now is everybody is still, despite all of this, fairly hopeful. And so I would like they to are? say, I think they are hopeful. I think that you, we're at a turning point now. Listen, we have a dialogue opened up about the Middle East, about health care, about the housing what? bubble. At least there's a dialogue. If you get to the point where we're just remembering why we're angry, it doesn't do anything. Wait, wasn't this movie that. already made? Wasn't it called Wall Street? Aren't they remaking that? They are remaking Wall yeah. Street. They mm -hmm. are. Courtney, thanks. Thank you.